Because from your personal experience, Kara, it sounds like there wasn't enough investigation into what was going on with you psychologically. You know, you had a really difficult family circumstances at the time. You were battling with your sexuality. So presumably you think there should have been much more time spent to actually understand what you were living through and what you were going through rather than just putting you on this medical path. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I firmly believe that uh, gender dysphoria is a symptom of 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 deeper things going on. Wow. Um, I mean, yeah, it's as, it's as simple as that, really. I mean, uh, there's no such thing as being born in the wrong body. Um, so, yeah, I, it's it's quite shocking to me when I look back and none of the adults really uh, noticed that or, or cared. Well, I find it absolutely fascinating that that is your view because obviously we need to believe you given you have lived through this. Uh, how heartening has it been, Kira, to see the support of someone as high profile as J.K. Rowling, who we have to admit has made this discussion so prominent and international too? Absolutely. I mean, I, I respect her completely, um, not only uh, with with the fact that she's speaking out uh, as such a public figure about this particular heated topic, uh, but uh, creatively as well. And uh, yeah, that was a very sweet message uh, from her. I mean, uh, like I said, I just have tons of respect for her. I mean, it, it can't be easy, uh, despite the position that she's in.